All right, so in this video, I'm gonna compare three things. Uh, the FLIR one, the older model, the I guess the original FLIR one uh, for Android and iOS, the uh, FLIR one third generation uh, for Android and iOS, and the Wallabot. Uh, the Wallabot is uh, something kind of new that's come out. I, actually, when I downloaded the app, I had to be a beta tester, I think. Uh, the Wallabot. Uh, there's different price points, 99. Um, this one, I know, I, I think you have to buy, there's Android, I think around $299, $250 maybe. Um, the iOS, you'll have to find secondhand because I don't think they're making them anymore. Um, but, you, you know, they're still out there on the internet. And the uh, FLIR 1 Pro is $399. I think there's a, a, a not pro version, I guess an amateur version for $199. But I decided to go with the Pro after reading the reviews uh, to do with the internet connectivity or something or another. I don't know. So I went with the Pro. So we're going to compare these. FLIR 1 first generation, I guess. FLIR 1 third generation. And the Wallabot. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I know that there's a pipe because I've been running hot water down this wall, and sure enough, it shows. So, uh, wow, that's pretty good, man. Even though this is a FLIR 1, and uh, you know, it's $250, $280. Uh, the new FLIR 1 is going to be $399 to Pro. Uh, but uh, that is pretty good, man. That's just as good in my mind. I mean, I know the resolution's not quite as, you know, I think it's 80 by 60 or something. The, most of the other cameras are 120 by 160 or 160 by 160. But uh, we'll see how it does against the uh, on exterior walls here. You can see some cold spots there. Wow, that's a cold spot right there. But uh, stacked up against the um, regular, I mean, obviously it's not as good, but for the money, Man, that is not bad. Let's see what uh, we can go in here. Let's see, Let's see some of the walls. Let's see what we got here. See a couple of cold spots. And you can see, uh, you know, see where you're losing energy. Um, you know, we can. Uh, let's see if we like uh, take my feet here. If I stand here for a minute, the heat from my feet will transfer. It's pretty good. That is not bad. Not bad at all. I have run hot water upstairs down a pipe so you can see it right there. Wanted to, that's a four inch pipe coming down the walls from the second floor where we ran um, hot water. Um, so definitely picks that up. Um, good job. Um, and I'll compare that against my uh, Fluke camera that has a higher resolution to see how it does. Let's walk around a little bit. Let's see how, obviously, yeah, it looks good. You can see the heat of the lights and see the heat that is transferred onto the um, ceiling there as well. Let's take it on around. You see a little bit of, wow, it looks like my insulation is a little lacking right there in that tray ceiling right there. Really good resolution, though. I like it. Um, I stepped earlier here. I don't know if they still got that. No. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to uh, walk. So you see my feet. Obviously, I'm. I'm hot. At least I hope my wife thinks so. Uh, terrible joke. Yeah, but see how it picks up the heat off of my feet. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see if we can pick up anything on the wall. Sometimes you can. Pick up some cold spots and you know the studs where they are will show up a little bit cooler than the other part a little bit of a cool spot there but uh overall i like it man looks good looks good there's several options on this thing um let's see you have uh you know obviously you can change the palettes which is nice let's go to rainbow oh yeah very cool well how do i get the thing off though yeah, you have different palettes, uh, temperature range, IR scale, selfie mode. Let's see what that does. I don't know. Maybe I need another camera for that because this doesn't have a camera on the other side. So anyway, let's go back to the iron. I'm, I'm pretty... I like the iron. Let's go back to that. But uh, it's got lots of options. You got a flashlight option. 
cool. Um, oh, you can change from Celsius, you know, you can uh, do a thing. It's, it's cool, man. I like it. Right, this is the lullaby. We're on the same wall where we did the uh, FLIR 1. And I know there's a pipe. That's why I want to do it here, because I know there's a pipe like that goes right down there. So this shows you there's a stud right there. Can you see that? It's kind of cool. It uses radio waves instead of, uh, you know, we were using infrared before. So should come up on another stud. There's usually a stud about every 16 inches. I hope it's working. We're on drywall. Okay, there's the other stud. See the stud? So like if you were going to, uh, <clears throat> you know, hang a picture or something like that, you know, the stud's there. Uh, this uses radio waves. It goes in and bounces back. Now we should, no, it's a little bit further. Might be another stud, but there's gonna be a pipe. There it is. That's the pipe. That's actually the four inch pipe that comes down. Remember that it was leaking. Uh, my daughter's filming this, by the way. <laughs> it was leaking because they, they pierced the, uh, the pipe. And that's the same one we saw in, with the infrared. So, it works. Uh oh, there's two. Oh, what's the other one? And there'll probably be another stud. There's your stud right there. So, what do I think about the, uh, the wall bot? I like it. Uh, for $98, you've got to get it hooked up to an Android. Um, you know, it's not for iOS yet. I do like it for the price. It's definitely not as good as an infrared, but it's a pretty good tool to have. You know, you can find out where the studs and the pipes and the wires are behind your wall, and it'll go up to four inches. Um, what it's doing is sending radio waves, and then they bounce back. So thumbs up for Wallabot. Um, it's definitely not, you know, it's not an infrared, but an infrared is going to cost you the low, even on the low end of the scale, it's going to be $400. The Wallabot's $99. Uh, for what you use it for, it's great. Also, you gotta have the wall bot right on the wall or an infrared. I can stand back here and scan all the way across the wall where the wall bot's gonna have to be right on it. But uh, I like it. I like it. Thumbs up. Okay, so I have tested the uh, FLIR 1, the older generation FLIR 1. I actually have several of these. Uh, we have just bought the new or third generation FLIR 1. A little more expensive, a little more bells and whistles. Um, and we've also tested the Wallabot. It uh, kind of looks like this. Uh, and, you know, I guess I was going to kind of compare them. But the Wallabot is really a different tool than the thermal infrared. You really can't compare those. I do like the Wallabot. Um, you put it up against the wall and you scan it across the wall. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, yeah, you have a stud finder, but this is a stud finder on steroids that can find pipes, wires, uh, a fantastic uh, thing for a homeowner. Uh, it's $99 and for the price, it, it's a very good tool. Um, it doesn't compare to a thermal infrared camera though. Thermal infrared um, camera can see multiple items from a distance all the way across the room. You don't have to put it right up on the wall. Um, <clears throat> and they certainly cost more. Um, the FLIR one, if you can get an older one that, you know, you can probably get this for about $250, $299. Um, the FLIR one Pro is $399. Um, a couple more bells and whistles. I like them both. You can't go wrong with either one. For me personally, for the price, I still like the old FLIR one. Um, but I would certainly buy the, the, the newer one, the Pro. Um, but, uh, you know, is one product better than the other or, you know, whatever. I think every product is appropriately priced. Uh, the Wallabot definitely, you, know, you can't really compare it to an infrared. But for $99 and for certain aspects, uh, it's, it's a good tool. Um, but uh, thermal infrared, and obviously you can go up in the cameras. Uh, this is, you know, a low-end thermal infrared, but uh, not a bad tool. Um, if I give you some valuable information, please subscribe. I'm not sure which side it's going to be on, one or the other. Um, but uh, thanks a lot, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.